Hi guys, I'm Jenna, and today I'm going to be going over the parts of speech. This is part one, so I'll be discussing nouns, verbs, and adjectives. And I also made a part two that goes over um, pronouns, adverbs, and conjunctions. And this is for second grade, by the way. So to begin, we have nouns. Nouns are words to describe people, places, and things. Um, so this is extremely broad. It can be anything from a book to a cookie to flowers, the gym, or even earth. So it can be places. People often forget that. So it can be like Florida, for example. Um, so then I asked the question, if, can you think of a noun that is a person? Just let's test your knowledge here. We'll give you a second to think about that. So I said teacher, mom, and friend for a person. Um, if any of if anyone said those, good job. If you said something different, I'm sure it's correct as long as it's a person. <clears throat> so next we have verbs. So verbs are words that show actions, motions, doings, or states of being. They can also demonstrate how someone feels. So the examples I gave were run, write, sleep, and think. So a big part of what makes a verb a verb is that it's an action. So you can say to run, to write, to sleep, to think. It's the action of someone doing something. So whenever you're in doubt, just say, can I say to run? Then yeah, it is a verb. Um, so next we have adjectives. These are words that are used to help describe or give description to people, places, and things. These describe words, these descriptive words can help give information about size, shape, age, color, origin, material, purpose, feelings, conditions, and personality or texture. So basically, it's a word that's describing the noun. So examples, we get we have big, red, fuzzy, and round. All of these can be used to describe a noun. So you could say in the sentence, the big, the big picture. So big is describing picture. You can also say the red picture, that's also describing the picture. Fuzzy picture, round picture. Some of them don't really make sense. You can't really have a fuzzy picture, but you get the gist. It's describing a noun, which is the picture in that case. So now I have an activity for you guys to do. So I'm gonna read these out and then you guys can pause the video and um, let me know how it goes on the next slide because those that's where I will go over the answers. But can you identify parts of the speech in a sentence? So the first one, I ran to the grocery store. Number two, oh, oh. Um, number two, he searched for the sports aisle. Um, three, then Walter looked at his watch. Four, Marissa walked over to the coffee shop. Five, my uncle has an old car. Six, Jenna writes letters to Caroline while at camp. So I'll give you a second to do that and then we'll go over it in just a second. So, okay. I have labeled the um, types of words as green for noun, purple as verb, yellow for adjective. So in the first sentence, I ran to the grocery store. I is a noun because it's a person. Ran is a verb because it's an action to the grocery store. So grocery is actually an adjective because it's describing the noun of store. Grocery store as a whole could also be a noun, but in this sen sentence, I thought it would be interesting to make grocery the adjective. Um, two, he searched for the sports aisle. So he is a noun because it's a person. Searched is the action, so it's a verb. And sports aisle could also be considered one noun, but I actually included sports as an adjective because it's part of the noun. It's It describes the noun, which is aisle. Three, then Walter looked at his, his silver watch. So Walter in the situation is a person, so it's a noun. Looked is the action, so it's a verb. Silver is the adjective because it's describing what the watch is and the watch is a noun. Um, Marissa walked over to the busy coffee shop. So Marissa is a noun because it's a person. Walked is the verb over to the busy coffee shop. So. Busy is describing coffee shop, so busy is the adjective, and coffee shop is the noun. Number five, my uncle drives an old car. My uncle is the noun because it's a person. Drives is the action, which is the verb. Old is describing car, which is another noun because it's a thing, so old is the adjective. Six, Jenna writes letters to Caroline while at camp. Jenna is a noun because it's a person. Writes is an action, so it's a verb. 
letters to Caroline. So Caroline's another um, noun because she's another person. And then camp is a noun because it's a place. So if you had any trouble with those, do this activity, activity over. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped. Thank you guys for watching and make sure to watch part two that will go over some more parts of speech. Bye guys.